Hello, and welcome to this Apex SQL source control video. In this video, we'll show you how to utilize branching when Git is used as a source control system. Git branching implementation covers the following areas. Linking a database to any existing branch. Creating a new branch. Switching between branches without relinking a database. Selecting a branch to push changes to. Merging branches. All listed items are covered directly through SQL Server Management Studio. Thus, there is no need for any other Git client to be installed or to switch between SQL Server Management Studio and other applications in order to perform these operations. As a starting point, let's link a database to a Git repository. In order to do so, we'll right-click a database in the Object Explorer pane and choose the Link Database to Source Control option. When the Source Control Wizard is initiated, we'll choose Git as a Source Control System, and in the final step of the wizard, we'll provide the URL of the Git repository along with credentials. The Branch drop-down list shows the master branch by default. If you are OK with linking to the master branch, you can proceed with the linking process. We'll refresh the branch drop-down list, which loads all available branches on the specified repository. At this point, any existing branch can be selected as a branch to link a database to. Since there are no other branches at the moment, we'll use the master branch. New branches cannot be created at this point, but we'll create new branches later when a database is linked. After linking a database and initiating the Action Center tab, we'll see a branch that is selected in the Source Control Wizard in the Active Branch drop-down list. Let's initially commit all objects to the master branch. Now that we have a database initially committed, let's assume that a database is production ready. In this case, we'll keep the initial commit in the master branch. Assuming that we now want to work on database changes and to commit those changes to source control, we do not want to tamper with the master branch with changes that may affect the database in any way. For that reason, we'll create a new branch from the master one. In order to do so, we'll right-click a linked database and select the Create Branch option from the More Source Control Options submenu. In the initiated dialog, the currently active branch will be automatically set as the source branch. Below the source branch is a list of all change sets committed to a source branch. In this case, two change sets. One is generic, created along with the Git project, and the other one represents the initial commit of all objects. This means that when creating a new branch, for example from the master branch, the user can specify a change set that will be included in a new branch and any change set committed after the selected one won't be included. In the target field, the name of a new branch needs to be specified. By default, the name is a combination of the source branch name followed by branch. This can be changed by typing in the name of a new branch. Let's name a new branch as Master Test and click the OK button to confirm. Now that we have two branches, both will be available in the Active Branch drop-down list in the Action Center tab. At any point when using the Action Center tab, either to commit changes to a repository or get changes from a repository, the current branch can be changed from the Active Branch drop-down list. Let's make a change in a database and commit to a new branch. We'll make a sample change using the following script. After refreshing the Action Center tab, the column that we have just added appears as a difference. Let's commit this, but not to the master branch. Instead, we'll switch to a new branch we have created and commit this instead. In order to switch between existing branches, we'll pick the master test branch from the active branch drop-down list. Whenever the active branch is changed, the Action Center tab will be refreshed automatically in order to compare a database with a selected branch and show the differences. Now that we have the active branch set to master test, which is the one where we want to commit changes to, let's check the address table, provide a commit message, and click the Apply button to commit. Any additional changes can be committed in the same way to the master test branch without affecting the master branch in any way. 
to verify that the change related to the address table is not committed to the master branch, we'll switch the active branch from master test to the master and wait for the Action Center tab to refresh. Once the Action Center tab is refreshed, a column that we have added to the address table and committed to the master test branch appears as a difference. The right side of the Action Center tab represents a repository. In this specific case, this is the state of the master branch. It is easy to determine that the test column does not exist in the most recent, latest version of the address table, whose script is shown on the right side. Let's check how to merge changes committed to the master test branch with the master branch. In order to merge branches, we'll right-click a linked database and from the context menu, select the Merge Branches option from the More Source Control submenu. When a dialog is initiated, it provides a user with the possibility to choose the source and target branches. Using the Browse button, we will select Master Test as the source branch. Similar to the branching dialog, when merging two branches, as soon as the source branch is selected, the user can choose the last change set that will be merged with the target branch, while any change set committed after that will not be included. For the purpose of this video, we want to include all change sets that are committed to the master test branch. To do so, we will choose the All Changes Up to a Specific Revision option. For the Target field, we'll use the Browse button to choose the target branch. In this case, we'll pick the master branch as a target. Once everything is set, by clicking the Finish button, we'll merge two branches. To confirm that the merging is successful, let's initiate the Action Center tab. By setting the Master Branch to be active, there should be no differences shown in the Action Center tab. This means that whatever we have committed to the Master Test Branch is now merged with the Master Branch. To summarize, we have covered the following areas. Linking a database to any existing branch. Switching between existing branches. Choosing a branch to commit changes to. Creating a new branch. Merging two branches. Thanks for watching. For more information, please visit apexsql.com.